Hey, this is Swaggers doing Cube, and we are in the first world summer. And this is going to be the first 10 levels. We're going to do these all gold, which means no deaths. Under the speed time, which is pretty generous. And then we'll also get all of the stars. Um, this is just out now on Xbox. I don't know what the sitch is PlayStation-wise. But right away here on the left, we'll get our first star. And then we will just exit the level. Real fun puzzle game. Seen on four worlds. So probably 80 levels, I believe. And there you go. There is 1-1. One, one. And number two, the gleaming lasers. It does ramp up uh, the difficulty and the um, different kinds of abilities pretty quickly. You can rotate, and there's the star for this one. And you can see there's another star up top here. Um, the stars are saved when you complete a level. So you don't have to go for everything gold. Um, but you can get all the stars and get gold. The time, at least on this first world, the timing is very generous. 1 3 Spooky Mines. This is going to introduce the explosions. And see, I already got this uh, star, but it's nice that it shows you where it is so we can still kind of quote unquote collect it in this gold guide. You want to stay outside of the splash zone there and it shows you in the flashing lights how big the bombs are. Even though they don't look like they explode that much, they do. Okay, just got to turn it on and off, drop down, and then we're going to blow up one. And then the other one because you can't blow them up at the same time and there is a star in here. Stay out of the way and then just follow the explosion. And then we need to go get both of the buttons. And then just get out of here. Watch it. Spikes that are two sections like that, they are not necessarily timed the same way. Just FYI. Okay, one four. Dangerous stilts one star it's nice it shows you out you know in the level select there okay and the star is hidden there in that right case we are gonna have to blow it up from both sides boom always watch those explosion sizes Again, be careful. I mean, the, the gold time is really generous. I've never been like, oh, I might not make the gold time. And there we go. It's tricky. One star to be found. Okay, so this kind of introduces the fact that they'll put obstacles in the way and you've got to switch. And for the most part, just switch. If you're in doubt, switch sides. And there is one on the far side, so we do have to switch. Okay, and then we need to just hit that button quick. And then I wait until the spikes are up. And then go. And that should get you all the way through. And going for that star has cost us the first cycle. This seems very speed running. It really looks like they took the time that if you're you know, just going for optimal play, that you should never really have to pause. You know, except 
for a puzzle type situation. And that was the end. I'm like, where's the next platform? I'm like, oh, I just need to go one more square to finish. I like that there's a hundred space for deaths. I don't know how hard they're going to get in the last world, but uh, that's kind of crazy. And then grab the star and then switch sides real quick. And then down. Switch. Switch twice on that one. Switch. Switch. And then this one is just paying attention to which one is up and down. And then there's a star there that I'd gotten, so wait till your right time. Boom, grab the star. And this one, it always switches when it comes to your side. And then just blaze on, and we're done. Halfway through the video. It more than halfway, although they are going to start getting harder. 1 7 raging waterfalls. This is the first one that took a little figuring out for me. Okay, you see the star is there. We're going to change the perspective. And then there's also a star hidden behind here. And then we need to drop down to this star. So wait, right as it starts to move, drop so that you're between them. And then it doesn't really matter which of the three paths you take. Boom, that blocks it. And then the other star is just on the other side. And then watch the spinning one. And then we're going to do corner to corner to stay protected. Make a run for it! Go, no forest! Easy peasy. Four stars. There is an achievement for... Okay, and this is going to introduce the magnetic blocks. You just hold the right trigger to grab them and move them. This is going to be a lot of the puzzles from here on out is positioning those blocks uh, in the right way. But as soon as you have ten stars, which we already have, um, you can go get the Pretty Woman achievement, which is just head far right into this world, past the places you can't even go yet. And you can go to the market and buy. And it doesn't cost you things. So it's very important to note where it doesn't cost you um, stars to buy that costume. So you don't have to save up. It's very important to note where I'm doing everything. So it's very exact where these magnetic. And I try to make sure that I do it in the least number of moves. And then we're going to use this magnetic block as a head protector. Okay, and then we're going to come back. So we're going to go to this position so that we can roll right in. And then make sure you roll back before finishing. Uh, otherwise, if you just let go, you'll get lasered. No deaths. It is two levels left. We're working on this one, and we're also working on uh, Tumble Stones, which is going to be uh, the free game for July. So if you're near two at the same time, you'll lock on, and you need to be able to move everything like you saw we hit two of them there. It'll be more used in the future. And we're going to use it right now. We're going to grab it. Yeah, that's fine. Let it go. Okay, and we're going to pull them in. And then we're going to let go so we can grab both of them. 
and get the star and then grab both of them come back and then use that one to create the power level. and then we're really doing the same thing right here and then grab them both and get through and you can do two things you can do it like that or uh, you can stand up with it so that they go under we got to position it there so that we can drop down through the laser. And there you go, 1-9. And I'll tell you, on 110 here, this next one coming up, I'm currently number two in the world. I don't know how many people have played it, but I feel pretty good about that. So this is a number two in the world run, getting all of the three stars, too. It does have a little bit of time. Okay, so we're going to block that off because we need to come back. And then we want to position them so that it's right there if you roll straight down and back. So then we're going to take this one off and position it in the same way. Okay, wasted time right there. I want an extra square. Okay, and this one is you just want to make sure that the ones facing that side the what lasers that you're blocking. There's a lot of wasted time here too because you don't need to do this to work it out. Okay, and then turn the perspective because there is a laser down there. Again, these are very specific to what you do.